Okay, so in the previous video, we saw that unfortunately, the frequency modulated signal actually has a theoretical infinite bandwidth. And that's not what we wanted. We wanted a, a smaller bandwidth. We actually wanted to see if we could make bandwidth equal to zero. So let's see if there's some kind of approximation we could make in order to make the bandwidth of this a lot smaller. So can we simplify this expression at all? And the answer is yes. So let's assume that this term, the absolute value of kf times at, where that at is that integral of the message, let's assume that that's going to be small. And you know that kind of makes sense because remember, our original plan was we wanted to make that uh, coefficient, kf, we wanted to make it so small that the bandwidth was going to be equal to zero. So if we make it real small, we'll see that term is going to basically go away. That term is going to go away. And then any of these higher order terms from that power series expansion, those are also going to go away. That means that we're left with a narrow band approximation. That narrow band approximation is just going to contain the first two terms where we have this, uh, where we've applied this um, approximation. Okay, so now we have an approximation for a narrow band signal, and it just contains two terms. So let's compare this to the amplitude modulated signal. And remember that amplitude modulation uh, signal, we have some A cosine omega CT, and that's uh, some amplitude that we, we used to be able to uh, increase the power of the message, and then the message is modulating the same cosine. So we can see that if A of T and M of T have the same bandwidth, and that was shown in the previous video, then that means that the uh, amplitude modulated signal and the frequency modulated signal are going to have the same bandwidth so long as we apply that approximation. If we keep kf times at, the absolute value of that very small, they're going to have basically the same bandwidth. All right, so our am signal looked like this, had some bandwidth like this. <clears throat> so if we look at our narrow band approximation, that's going to have the same bandwidth, a of f, because m of f and a of f are going to have the same bandwidth. So if phi am looks like this, then phi fm is also going to look like this, so long as we have applied this narrow band approximation where we're restricting the absolute value of kf times at to being much, much less than one. Now, uh, we can also rewrite this. We can say that this is the narrow band fm approximation. And then if we make a similar approximation of for kp times the message being much, much less than one for the phase modulated case, then we can see that the phase modulated signal, uh, which is the narrow band phase modulated signal, is going to have a very similar approximation to the frequency modulated signal. And you're going to prove this expression for narrow band phase modulation in the homework.